Well, it goes without saying we've had quite a wet start to the month of July. And as we begin to forget what the sun looks like, many are wondering just how long is this going to last? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in that bunch personally. <laughs> well, or how about what's even causing all this rain to begin with and not end? Western Mass News Meteorologist Lena Chikowski teamed up with the National Weather Service in Boston to explain. Lots of mixed feelings about all this rainfall, but those we spoke to on Tuesday are loving it. I love the rain. I think it's like really cozy. What's not to love about the rain? Tori Goshi with the National Weather Service in Boston tells Western Mass News the following factors have kept us firmly parked in an unsettled weather pattern for weeks. We've had this subtropical high sitting off to our southeast that's been pumping in all that heat and moisture over the past several weeks. And just to the north, we've had this uh, polar uh, jet that's been kind of clipping down into the northeast. You kind of mix a little bit of those two together, plus the amount of energy that's been passing on through um, some of these short waves. That's been helping to produce these uh, showers. And the conditions causing the severe drought out west are also playing a role. That ridge over the northwest, that's keeping things uh, pretty hot and you know, baking over there. So that's not allowing for zonal flow to travel across the United States. So we're stuck in this rut. As of July 12th, Boston has experienced its third rainiest July on record. Westfield currently ranks number four. And just across the border in Hartford, they're sitting at number six. In terms of just how often these conditions happen. It's only have occurred about six or seven times since 1905. That's about a five to six percent chance. And we did have an outlier this year, tropical storm Elsa. But it really only takes that one storm uh, to kind of put it, push us over the edge. And that's a good thing to remember as we go later and deeper into the hurricane season. Speaking of that, it's equally as rare. It's been 15 years since a tropical storm has made landfall in New England. For Western Mass News, I'm first warning meteorologist Lena Joukowsky.